Hi guys, uh, in this video I'll be looking at the package I got from Scotia Grendel Games. Scruffy Crow. So first up we've got these lovely barbarian huts that I'm going to have as part of the terrain layout on my sort of forest table. There's two of these guys, they come in two parts. They're cast in this sort of, uh, sort of I, I think it was like crunchy resin, uh, very solid. Uh, I think they're going to need a little bit of work just to get the roofs to fit on properly. Uh, but once you've got that sort of sorted out, you could probably make it even so you could uh, pop the roofs off and use it to hide like an objective marker or something. Um, I think I'll be gluing mine and I might even base them as well. Uh, one of the other things I just threw on my order as a little add-on was some of these shields. Uh, so there's 10 in here and they've got this sort of eye design, which reminded me of the old sort of Archeon Chaos design. Uh, and I've got some beastmen that I need that need some shields. So I'm gonna see how these look, uh, though they might be a little tad big. Okay, another thing, random thing I threw on was this barman. So everything in here is on these 20mm square bases. So I will be swapping pretty much everything in the bag to uh, these lipped bases that I like. But he looks pretty cool. I think he's going to be part of my townscape alongside my sort of Dunkeldorf miniatures. And he's got a similar sort of style to him, which is what made me think of picking him up. So yeah, I look forward to just slapping some paint on him as just a little one-off side thing. They were also happy enough to throw in a couple of little extra bits for me. That's what's in here. Um, we have some Braveheart goblins, which are sort of like Highland themed goblins. Let's have a look. There's some banner poles here, thistles and Highland cows, some bagpipes, a uh, little I think you call it a baran, a little drum. And then we've got some pretty expressive goblin here uh, with a sabre. Um, so there's four of them. And last up we have some little goblins mooning, pulling some faces. And these have come with a selection of little shields. These are quite interesting minis actually. I've never seen anything quite like these. They've got very expressive little faces, uh, but I've never really seen a hairy goblin before. So I'll get these guys based up and slap some paint on them and we'll see what we uh, see how they turn out. Okay, another little bag they were kind enough to throw in is these Gastetti Nobles. Um, and these are from a sort of sister company, I think, of Scotia Grendel. I'll put the link in the description. And these eyes are pretty sweet, actually. So obviously they threw these in because they've seen the videos I've been doing recently with my uh, Mortal McGlorium stuff. So if I grab one of my stands of Mortal McGlorium here, here's some quite similarly dressed warriors. And these guys scale in absolutely fine. Very similar style. I'm pretty impressed with those, actually. So these guys will probably be more of my soldiari or nobles. Um, got a bit of a variation in shields. These guys appear to have round shields for the most part. Um, I'm sure I can get them all to sort of more or less match in. And they've got some particularly impressive detail. They've definitely got a higher level of detail than the Plastic Soldier Company ones, I'd say. Yeah, he's awesome. Especially when he's got himself a little shield to hold up. I think he, yeah, I'm a big fan of this guy. So I'll definitely be looking at these again. Uh, I might even give them their own video comparing them to the Plastic Soldier Company ones. Okay, now for the stars of the show. This is the reason that I put in an order in the first place. Um, after playing some Wallets of Aeron, I realized that spearmen uh, were gonna be super powerful. So I wanted some spearmen for my Knights of Arrow on army. Uh, but I wanted Chaos Spearmen, which is not a common model out there. 
Um, sorry, yeah, I scoured far and wide to find something that would that would fit the theme of my army and the style of my army, uh, but with spearmen. And I came across these guys. I think these are spot on. So these are barbarian spearmen. But what I really like about some of them is they've got this little skull circle on the middle, which completely matches in with the um, barbarian thug archers that I got. Uh, I haven't got one to hand right now, but I'll go and fetch one. Uh, and we'll see how they scale up next to those guys. But I really like the sort of detail and the sort of and the uh, and the features on these guys, they've got that kind of uh, sort of Northman look. Uh, it's almost a bit. Um, it's almost a bit sort of Mongol hordes type type look with these little hats. Uh, they've got a lot of fur going on, uh, but they look armoured and and ready for battle. So yeah, I quite like the look of these guys. Okay, so it appears that I've got two of each of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six designs. And then these three guys here. And then we've got shields for all of these guys. Now, one thing I'm not so keen on is the fact that the shields have all got this uh, this same bit of fur on them. Um, it's a little bit too uniform for my liking, so I might find some different shields for them. That, and I think these models probably have enough fur as well. Um, but they are cool shields, so I'll definitely be uh, holding on to them and they'll get some use somewhere else, I imagine. So just like my little barman a second ago, uh, these guys will be going on. These guys will be going on these 30 mil lipped bases to match the rest of the army, and I think they fit in there very nicely. Um, so I'm just going to dive off to my garage and go and grab some more bases, uh, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, um, so I have got bases for everything. Uh, I've gone and picked up these punk clips, and I think these are going to work as really nice bases for. Uh, my huts, I think they're going to fit on there quite nicely. And I've got my lip bases for these guys. I couldn't find a full 15, um, but as soon as you field these guys in squads of 10 anyway, uh, that'll do for now. I also went and dug out uh, one of these, uh, which is what I've been using as archers in my Chaos Army. And yeah, scale and look wise. I think they fit in quite well. Obviously there's a lot more detail on these metal models. Um, these are Chaos Thugs from Battlemaster, if anyone was trying to track them down. I said well, one of the things that drew me to these guys was that a few of them do have these little skulls on their chest, which kind of match up really well to the ones on these guys. So that'll kind of tie them in together as a part of the same army, I think. So yeah, I'm happy that they fit together. I put the uh, the Highland Goblins on some of these square bases that were supplied with them. Um, as I said, I'm just going to get some paint on them. Uh, and these are some Games Workshop Beastmen. Uh, and sort of these are the shields uh, that they originally came with, I believe. Uh, and that's one of the larger ones, uh, which is cool. But so I tried out the shields that I bought from Scotia Grendel, and they are a little bit large. Uh, but I think I will leave them on these two, uh, just for variation. Um, in what they look like. So yeah, I'm happy with them, but I don't think I'll be using all 10 on these guys. Uh, but I'm sure they'll come in handy for other bits. Uh, another one of these guys has been given the shield from uh, the Barbarians, and I think that's worked really nicely. Um, so I might cut the tassels off another one of these, or another couple, and use these in my Beastman army as well. All right, so that is everything all based up, ready for its individual videos, uh, apart from the Ancients. Uh, but I went and sorted some bases out for those. Uh, I said the huts will be getting their video. Uh, the barbarian spin will definitely get in their video because that was the whole point of this. Uh, the barman won't, but uh, you'll definitely see him pop back up because uh, I'm quite excited to get some good paint on him. Uh, I said the last thing I was going to do for this video was I was going to get these guys painted up. And so I've given them a sort of tabletop level paint job. I think they've come out quite nicely. They've definitely got loads of character. The sculpts are pretty sort of basic, uh, so they're not the most detailed things I've ever dealt with, uh, but I think that kind of adds to the sort of character they've got. Uh, as I said, it was just a, a sort of tabletop paint job, uh, a bit of liquid talent on there. Um, I'm fairly happy with the way they've uh, where they've come out. 
and I've painted up enough here uh, to make a little a little unit. With a couple of guys mooning at the front. So maybe they'll show up as another video at some point as well. So yeah, totally interesting little figures. Uh, hairy goblins, first time I've ever seen those. Uh, so if any of these figures catch your eye, uh, my goblins, my cool barbarian spearmen, or these huts, uh, either check out my next couple of videos on them or uh, go over to Scotia Grendel and uh, have a look around. Definitely uh, purveyors of things with that old hammer vibe uh, that a lot of people enjoy. Ah! And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.